<laughs> Perhaps you know her as Deanna Troy, the compassionate counselor on Star Trek, The Next Generation. But tonight in our Get Real segment, we go behind the scenes to meet the woman behind the part. Meet Marina Sirdis. <laughs> I must apologize for yesterday. Her name is Marina Sirtis, and she plays counselor Deanna Troy, the sensitive and caring empath on Star Trek The Next Generation. It wasn't your fault. Please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Action. This is Captain Picard. As the show enters into its seventh season, few can imagine anyone else as Counselor Troy, but Sirtis actually tried out for another role. I was originally auditioning for the part of Tasha Yar, which Denise Crosby ended up playing, and Denise was auditioning for the part of Troy. Um, I think we did about six auditions, I did six auditions anyway, and about three auditions in, they switched us over. And they said that they sensed an empathy in me as Marina, which the character of Troy needed and kind of looking back to that I think what they were sensing was my sheer terror because I was just so nervous Action This is Captain Picard Barrow, isn't it? Why did you bring us here? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry okay. you, called him, you called him a cross between his planet and his name <laughs> My name Yes Boring Boring <laughs> That's boring, isn't it? <laughs> Sirtis knew she wanted to be an actress ever since she was a little girl. Her parents weren't exactly excited about the prospect. They knew from the age of three because I knew, you know, as soon as I could walk virtually that I wanted to be an actress. Um, and they didn't approve because they were Greek and in Greece being an actress in those days was about, you know, this much higher than walking the streets at night so it wasn't a respectable profession. And they kind of hoped that I would grow out of it and I never did. And to be totally honest, my mom didn't really ever approve of it until a couple of years ago when, you know, Star Trek started in England. <laughs> well, May Quiz, what do you think of the Enterprise? Oh, um, it is beautiful. Uh, comfortable also. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> Sirtis is considered by many as one of the most attractive women on television. But she was not always that way. Without giving you like a deep psychological profile, um, I was a real ugly duckling up until I was about 13. I was the kid that everyone made fun of in school because I was so ugly. And my husband didn't ever believe me. And people don't believe me, except I show them pictures now, just, you know, to prove it. And I was scary ugly. I mean, not just slightly unpleasant, I mean, gruesome. And so, <laughs> So when I kind of blossomed, if you like, um, I never quite believed it. <laughs> and then he goes off to eat it in private. On days when she doesn't have to get up at four in the morning, she likes to spend time at home with her husband and pets. When you're at work and, you know, you're one of the stars of a hit TV show, you get treated a different way. And I just feel that I don't want to kind of lose touch with who I was before I got Star Trek. And who I was before was a very kind of working class, um, you know, normal type of person. Um, and that's very important to me to stay that way. Action. This is Captain Picard. I understand that this is our last season um, and then you know you hear other things and rumors and so one doesn't really know I just want to thank the fans I mean I say this at conventions and it, and it really is true um, everything that we we have as actors we owe to our fans especially Star Trek fans because it was because of because of them watching the original show in reruns for so long that Star Trek The Next Generation was made. And so I just want to thank him for my job and everything I have. Good night, good night KCOP. It's been lovely having you. Over the next few weeks, our Get Real segment will feature more women of Star Trek. Later this week, we'll profile a Nana visitor who plays Major Kira on Deep Space Nine. And later this month, we'll talk to Gates McFadden and Terry Farrell. <laughs>